Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. I'm Jacob. And I'm Malena. Welcome to Easy to Understand Bible Lessons for Kids. Today's story is the story of Jonah. Once there was a prophet named Jonah, and God had important work for Jonah to do, so he sent him a message saying, Go to Nineveh and tell them that they have been bad and disobeying me. But what was Jonah going to do? He didn't like those people, so instead, Jonah went in the opposite direction. And Jonah got on a ship going as far away from Nineveh as he could get. In the bottom of the ship, Jonah slept. But he forgot that he was being just like the people of Nineveh. He was disobeying God and being bad. But God wasn't done with Jonah. So God sent a huge storm. And the sailors on the boat got really scared because it was so big and dangerous. And they woke up Jonah and they asked him, why is this happening? Jonah explained that he had disobeyed God. And the sailors couldn't believe it. Why would you do this? Jonah said, throw me into the sea and the storm will quiet. So they did. As Jonah sank into the sea, God sent a huge fish to come and swallow up Jonah. But this was to save Jonah. Jonah spent three days in the belly of the fish, praying and asking for forgiveness. And God forgave Jonah. Then the fish spit Jonah back on dry land. And God said, now go to Nineveh and give them my message. And this time, Jonah did. He proclaimed throughout the city God's message. And when the people heard that they had been naughty, they were very sad. They prayed and asked for forgiveness, and God forgave them. But this isn't what Jonah wanted, so he went outside the city, hoping God would punish them. God sent a bush to pop up and give Jonah shade in the hot sun, but then later took it away. And Jonah got angry. He was angry about the bush, and he was angry God hadn't punished the people of Nineveh. But God wanted Jonah to understand that he wanted to forgive the people of Nineveh and save them, just like he had forgiven and saved Jonah earlier. But Jonah was still angry. He was the only one, God's own prophet, who didn't understand that God wanted to forgive and save everyone. Here's what we learned today. In the story of Jonah, did Jonah do what God wanted him to do at first? No! Why didn't he want to do what God told him to do? Because he didn't like those people. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Why didn't he like those people? Because they said they didn't listen to God. Right. So, so what did Jonah do instead of listening to God? Ran away. Ran, 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 ran. Right again. But when Jonah was in the water, did God still save him? Of course. Yes. Why did he do that? Because he loved him and wanted to forgive him. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to forgive him and he had work for him to do, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. When Jonah told the people to repent, did they do that at Nineveh? Yes. Yeah, you're right. But was Jonah angry that they repented and God forgave yeah. them? Yeah. Why was that? She thinks they did not deserve to repent. Yeah, but what does God want? Does he want people to get in trouble or to be no. forgiven? To be forgiven. forgiven. Forgiven, 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 given, given. So, should we want God to be angry with people or to love and forgive people? Love, love and, and forgive. forgive. Da, 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 da. Boom, boom. Now it's time for our memory verse. First Peter three eighteen. For Christ died for sins once for all. The righteous. For the unrighteous, the righteous, for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in a body, but made 
alive, my the spirit, 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 spirit. Goodbye!